Uh, we've got that Series 6 sneak peek with our friend Chris here from Playground. Now, Playground Games is going to be doing their own in-depth stream of Series 6. Well, we get a sneak peek today at some of the cool cars coming in and let you know some of the cool stuff that's happening in Series 6. So that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, we're going to look at some of those car pass cars, absolutely, and some new outfits that are coming as well. Hopefully you guys will like that. Yep, so uh, for Series 6, we have the Final Fantasy cars, the Quartz Regalias returning from Horizon 3. Um, this, these are awesome cars. Uh, anyone that's a fan of Final Fantasy is going to really love these. And even, even if you've not played, they're, they're just amazing cars. Now, this, this car, of course, made its debut in Forza Horizon 3. It did, yes. It's coming back for Forza Horizon 4. Any changes, or is this the, the model that we saw in 3? This is the model we saw in 3, although... Okay. So this time, if we actually come out of the auto show, um, to better match Horizon, it's now got its roof down by default. Okay. Which is really cool, and that's that's how it's perfect to be. for wintertime in Horizon. Absolutely, <laughs> you gotta right. have yeah. the top down. But as we were saying, this is one of the biggest cars in the game in terms of sheer length. Uh, yes, uh, 21 feet long. This thing. Um, the re Regalia LT. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that so, is massive. Looking at the character for uh, size comparison, there is absolutely wow. gigantic. Um, now, when you, when you guys go and build, now, obviously, you built this car, but what's the process like? This is a car that came from another video game, of course, yep. Final Fantasy XV. I assume you work closely with Square to build a car like this. Yeah, for sure. Um, so we, we try and match the law of what the car actually is. Um, so all the data for it and things, we, we worked with Square on uh, if this car is in an authentic world, then, which it is in Final Fantasy, of mm -hmm. course, then and what is it, uh, like engine and, and things. So you can kind of hear on the uh, engine side there, we've got a lovely V12, which uh, is an odd but lovely soundtrack for a car like this. Um, I'm curious, when, when Square is talking about this car within the world of Final Fantasy XV, are they using traditional automotive terminology or do you have to translate what they call their engine into something that works for Horizon? No, we're, we're talking in the same terms. I mean, okay. <clears throat> it's based in reality, so Right. It's an en it has an engine, it has axles, all that kind of stuff. Um, I think the only difference, right, was uh, was all these requirements for anime hair. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, yeah, that's why, that's why the roof goes down. That's, why that's the roof uh, goes down. more hair space. It's it's why it's so long as well. It yeah. uh, and with it's, some it's of the hats, cords, <laughs> yeah, yeah, with some yeah. of the hats we've got in Horizon Four, it might it might work. And the weapons, the large swords. <laughs> that's um, right. Oh, and the, the trunk opens up an auto vista in the front to, to get your swords in as well. Well, it's nighttime, of course, here, so we're not getting the best look at the, the car, but this, a fun car to drive. You were saying this car can surprisingly drift well. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So its length uh, kind of lends itself to drifting quite nicely. So longer wheelbases, longer, like, longer cuff. So the inertia, it, the way it moves is quite, quite slow. So give this thing horsepower and drift suspension, and uh, it's actually surprisingly good. Um, so. With this as well, um, you unlock this car via a seasonal championship in Series 6. Okay. And I'm not going to tell you how, but we have another version of the Regalia. Oh, uh, so this is, this is not this seen is, before. This is okay. new for, for Motorsport. We have the Type D, which is the off-road version of it. Okay. So it's the same 21-foot-long uh, car but jacked up a meter on these gigantic tires. Oh, we got to get back to the festival so we yeah, can see this thing. So. This thing is insane. You can take the short, just imagine a regalia with a, with a halo warthog sort of squished yeah. together and you get an idea of what this car is all about. Yeah. Gone so oh, there you go. Final Fantasy meets Halo meets Horizon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so that's a great combination. Look at all that. They got some pipes on the side. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you saw the flames coming out from the pipes on the side on either side and the back. Let's uh, jump back to the auto show with this. Is so yeah, this is probably the best place to show it off. So this is the Type D. This is a, a brand new vehicle. Was it based off of the Regalia or is it based off of, uh, did you build it brand new? So for the handling, we approached it in the same way we approached the Warthog actually, which was to think about, right, so this car's been built in, I think the year 723. Okay. Um, but what kind of tech would it have? It's a big off-road where it's all wheel drive. So we've built it kind of very similar to a trophy truck. So dampers, spring rates, all that kind of stuff is as if it's a trophy truck. Uh, so it's a 20 foot long trophy truck. <laughs> if you, I don't know if you saw it at the nighttime, but like the driver just looks minuscule oh, in this thing. absolutely tiny, yeah. yeah. 
but it's got all the all the all what you'd expect from the quartz line. It's got those uh, center opening doors. It's got the the luggage racks in the front. All you would expect from the regalia line. And of course, this thing is made to go off road. Yeah, it's actually really good off road. So as I say, one meter ride height, which is, I think, the highest ride height we have in the game. Uh, okay. I can't think of anything higher than it. It's, it's a huge beast. Um, I mean, just the wheels as well, as we were saying earlier about the size of a peel. <laughs> <laughs> right, the wheel itself is the size of the Peel P50. <laughs> Need a ladder to get in there. What kind of upgrades does a, does a vehicle like this have? Does it have any body kit modifications? Uh, I don't think it does, okay. no. no. I mean, it's pretty extreme as, as it is. As it is, yeah. yeah. So it's got the usual plethora of uh, engine upgrades, that, things like that. Uh, yeah, and to get this, as I say, you need to have the base regalia, which you win a, as a reward from a seasonal championship, and you have to do certain things with that car, and you can unlock this one. Okay, well, we'll leave it at that. I think maybe we'll have more to say about it next week on the Horizon stream, yeah. but for now, we've got two regalias that we've seen so far. Uh, you'll be able to win one. Well, actually, you'll be able to win both of them. We're not going to give yep. you all the details, but yeah, you'll, you'll be able to add those to your collection very soon. Uh, but that's not it. We have other a whole set of Series 6 cars coming as well. Yeah, we right? do. So if I jump into here. So we've got um, Cadillac Escalade. The, this is one of the Car Pass cars, mm -hmm. the uh, Eldorado. Uh, not quite as long as the Regalias, but uh, it's still pretty long at 17 feet. Yeah, a mere 17 feet. Yeah. yeah it's which, just a baby compared to the regalia. Yeah. On British roads, that is huge. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, Honda Prelude's returning. Nice. Uh, another wow. lovely Nissan there. Um, and then one of oh. our other car pass cars, the Griffith. We um, got to take this out. I don't care if it's dark or not. We got to get in this thing. TV, it's sort of like the return of TVR, right? Yes. So TVR, uh, many people know unfortunately folded many years ago mm -hmm. um, and they were recently brought, brought back from the dead um, and this is their first car after coming back the, the new Griffith and it's absolutely incredible. Um, I actually had the pleasure of seeing one uh, a year ago uh, down at Goodwood In person? Revival. Nice. Yeah. In person this is an impressive Oh you saw car. it at Goodwood? Nice. Uh, yeah I was down there for the Revival when they did the unveiling of the car. Did they run it up the hill? Uh, no they didn't. No actually. okay. Um, but in person, this thing's absolutely incredible. Something you don't quite see from chase cam, especially in the dark, is the diffuser on this thing mm. is gigantic. Um, so, weird fact is it's, I believe, the second only front-engined rear-wheel drive car to have a completely flat floor. Okay. And one of the things they had to do to facilitate that is, you can't quite see here, but it's a side exit exhaust. Uh -huh. um, so it, it exits right at the front, so they can have a completely flat floor. So it actually produces a lot of downforce, this car. So, Which is not something you normally associate with TVR. No, You TVR's, think all power. Yeah, they're normally <laughs> incredibly larry. Um, and this is still larry. I mean, yeah. It'll still go sideways. It's 480 horsepower from 5-litre V8. Um, 1,200 kilos. So it's still, you know, TVR terrifying. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, now we're downforce and things like that, so... Um, and they're keeping true to, to how they always used to be, so very few driver assist. It's got traction control, it's got ABS, uh, and that's about it. Yeah, TVR's kind of like, here's a lot of power, go figure it out yourself. Yeah, yeah. That's been the approach, but this is cool. I know there's, especially TVR, the TVR brand, uh, you know, car fans know it, but that's a British brand. That's, yeah. that's, yeah. that's home for you guys, so yeah, this must mean a lot. It means, it really does mean a lot to us. In fact, this is my favorite car pass car so far. Mm. Um, and it has a good looking car. Yeah. And I don't know if anyone knows, but the reason it's called TVR is because the owner is called Trevor. Trevor. <laughs> he almost got it right with yeah. that. Yeah. It needs, uh, a t it needs an R in there, Trevor. Yeah, but yeah absolutely incredible car. And, and another reward car we've got in Series 6 to kind of celebrate the return of TVR is the 2001 Tuscan. So that's going to be available via a seasonal championship, I believe. So it's very cool. Very cool. I kind of want to get this car on the highway and just let her go, you know? Yeah, it's quick, it's quick. Um, and it just, it has that sound too. It just sounds, it feels yeah. like it's dangerous and very TVR-y for lack of a better descriptor. That's awesome. So the yeah. Griffith is coming, the Tuscans, same week? Are they coming uh, together, do you know? Uh, I believe both in the same week. First week of Series 6, both of these cars are available. Um, so, Fantastic. Um, and we've also got some new clothing. Oh, excellent. Uh, some new outfits, so we can show that. Okay, let's check that out. So I'm wearing one of them just now, a classic gray suit. Uh, I, I love this. She I looks great. I absolutely love this. She uh, looks like she's ready to go. Yeah. And this will be perfect for jumping in one of the old Formula One cars we've got, uh, the, the like Audi Type D and things yep. like that. Yeah. 
Um, so alongside that, we have a chauffeur suit. Okay. Um, with hat, there's, there's a hat available too. And the Ken Block Jim Carner 10, I believe, race suit. So pop that one on. Let's pop that one on. Yeah. And that then looks cool. go back to hats. We've also got the helmet as well. The uh, old brain bucket. And all of these are also available as rewards for seasonal championships. Very cool. All of these things are going to be able to be unlocked starting with Series 6, which is very close. Uh, yep. Uh, we're wrapping up just now. Wrapping up Series 6. And you guys are going to have, uh, we were talking about earlier, you guys are going to have a, uh, an update stream next week, I think, about uh, yep. Series 6. Yep. But before we get there, there is an update that is being, if it's not already out there, it's coming very soon. In right? theory, it should be out now okay. um, or in the next few hours. Um, we're finally, uh, it's a massively requested uh, thing, we're increasing the garage space. So you can have 750 cars, 500 tunes, 500 liveries, 500 vinyl groups, and 150 photos. So that community loves to hear that. They, they, they can finally up their creativity. They get collect all those cars, get all those liveries done. So that, if it's not already live, like Chris says, it should be live very soon. Uh, that's great news. Uh, well, that's not all that's coming with Series 6, though. We've also got uh, a new seasonal championship. Right? Uh, yep, street race seasonal championship. So similar to normal uh, seasonal championships, but this time with street races. So that kind of brings a new, uh, new take on it. It's really exciting. And we heard Torben back in January, he was here, and he was talking about a new Horizon story, sort of a skills-based Horizon yeah, story. Yeah, uh, well. skill streak, which uh, we're going to show more next week. All right, well, you guys don't want to miss that Playground stream coming from Playground HQ next week. We'll have more details about that here on the Forza channel and on social media and all of that, so look out for that. Chris, thank you so much. That was a great update. Can't wait for Series 6. Tonight. Tonight.